up my beers and eat That's exactly what I mean Young beast from the east, so you know I put it in I'm that ghetto gorgeous gangster girl About to fly these slot international By the way that I bounce on the track, you know You ain't never seen a girl like this, oh no This is Lil Mama, aka the voice of the young people Shout out to Real Talk NY You're in tune to Real Talk NY.net Your one stop for everything hip-hop It's your girl Joy Daly I'm holding it down We got Lil Mama What's up, Lil Mama? What up? Yeah, now? so you are dropping this new album, yes. Voice of the Young People. Yes, most definitely. Now, why do you feel like you are that voice for the young people? And why do you think that young people need a voice right now? I feel like I'm the voice of the young people because I keep it official. And a lot of music that I've been hearing, a lot of artists that I've been seeing in the past don't represent the voice that I represent. For example, when you hear me speak, you probably you you won't say to yourself she sounds just like so and so she's selling the same thing that so and so is selling you know what mm -hmm. I mean I try to stay away from like sex and and all of that type of stuff that that a lot of like labels and fans feel like you have to sell like whether the artist is seventeen or fifteen they'll put like long curly weave. And make up high heel shoes, mm -hmm. um, shirts that show their breasts, and t little shorts, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And like, I just try to stay away from that because that's something that adults do. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And that's not something that the youth needs to be involved with. And I think that when it comes to that, that's one of the biggest reasons why we have teenage pregnancy. It's like if you don't if you don't know your problems, whether it's like you're a female and I'm a female. We're not the same female, but your problem is still my problems because like a guy that you might be with right now, the reality of it is that in two weeks, two years, or 10 years from now, he might be looking for a younger girl. And I just might be that young girl that he <laughs> finds and end up with the same STD that he's passed on or you've passed on. And it's so serious right now. And I'm not, like, I don't mean to, to, to be harsh, but that's the reality of it. And being the voice of the young people, you have to give that to the youth, the real. So you notice that there's a lack of female MCs. It's like a dying breed. There are very few successful female MCs. Why do you think that it's, it's so difficult for females to, to make it rapid? And why do you think that, you know, you're doing so well, you're so successful? Mm -hmm. I'm the antidote. That's, that's something that I truly feel about myself. Like, I'm the answer to the speculations about female MCs. There has been female MCs that has hit the scene over the past two years. And um, I believe some of them are Lady Sovereign, female mm -hmm. MC from Europe. Mm -hmm. I've heard of her. Um, Young B, Low Mama. Uh, well, now we have Kid Sister, etc., etc. Not everybody is a classic. Not everybody has what it takes to take the world to the next level. It's an emotional thing. It's a spiritual thing. It's a mental thing. It's so much more than just the obvious. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And I have what it takes to take it to the next level. It has. It hasn't been a breakthrough of female MCs since like what TLC? What? Like, and they were the young, you know what I mean? They were the left eye. She was mm -hmm. the MC of the group. And I'm not sure if there was other female MCs to come after that were legendary. Mm -hmm. But it's like, why aren't you opening that door? Why aren't you hand, taking your hand and putting it out like, yo, shorty, you got what it takes. Mm -hmm. Come on. Mm -hmm. Express yourself. Hip hop started in a circle of men, women, children ciphering it's a cipher and that's what it's all about the game like like i don't i don't i don't i don't i don't want to use profanity and i don't use profanity but i listen to it sometimes because that's where you might find some of the realest that's where you might find some of like the realest things like so, little wayne said the game is all effed up that's the truth it's the game like everything is moving around like a factory Hip-hop started out in the heart. Mm -hmm. 
Listen to Lauren Hill. Yeah. Now everybody mm-hmm. trying to chart, mm-hmm. and that's what it's all about. So it's like, can this can this female sell? Is she cute? Is 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 she vulnerable to sell her body and her lyrics at the same time? Mm-hmm. Like if you look around now, a lot of lot, one of the biggest things about hip hop are like the eye candy in the videos. So when you see a female hip hop artist, you expect her to be eye candy. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But I'm real. I'm official. Like, and I think that by coming out at the age of 17 sort of helped me out because if I would have came out at 19 or 20, they would have probably been like, oh, you need to wear this, you need to wear that. Not that it would have affected how I feel about my image because I'm a strong individual. And the way I feel about my image plays a major part in what you see. So when it comes to where are female rappers, why are they not around? You have... Psh, probably a million underground female rappers that are not getting the recognition that they need because the respect just is not there no more. Nobody cares about what hip hop is all about. They care about chart. Like for me, I see myself as a female MC. I see myself as a singer, a writer, a dancer. Uh, uh, like I, 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 I speak, I speak, I speak the truth. And one day I will be very, very, how can I say this? Historical mm-hmm. for more than just entertainment because I'm really at heart. Mm-hmm. And that's what makes me different from a lot of MCs because I'm so much more than just the MC. The rabbit hole goes so much more deeper. And when they look at me and try to figure it out and when they say, what is it? It's Little Mama, voice of the young people. Like You have collaborated with a lot of artists outside of hip hop now. Do you consider yourself to be a crossover artist? Of course. And, and why do you think that's that's a good thing? I'm definitely a crossover artist. And that's a good thing because I'm from the hood, right? And usually people that's from the hood, they're afraid to venture out because they feel, oh, I'm losing my swag. I'm losing who I am. You're not hard. You're selling out if you do this or you do that. Like, that's stupidity. I love music. I love entertainment. I went to jazz, tap, ballet, South African, hip hop, street dance. I've been a part of competitions where everything was so negative and it was like, oh yeah, we better than them. And then I've been a part of recitals where it's like, show what you do and we'll clap for every one of you. Whether this person is from this dance school or from the next dance school, we respect all y'all do y'all thing. And that showed me the difference between hate and love. Mm-hmm. Venturing out and staying in one little box. I love everything that I do. I would take salsa dance. I will make a Spanish song. And mm-hmm. I have made rock meets hip pop. And that's the reason why I am the birth of hip pop. A lot of people say, oh, how can you be the birth of H-I-P-P-O-P when that's something that's already been established? Mm-hmm. No. Sometimes you might hate and say that it's been established just because you can't respect it. But it is what it is. I am the birth of hip hop. I'm a hip hop artist with the outlook on life that is so powerful. The power of prophecy is so it's so powerful that nobody can block my blessings. You know what I mean? I venture out. I will make a pop record. I will make a rock record. Salsa. And it's so much deeper than just the record. I will get into the culture. I love music. I would like to ask you to spit a couple bars for us because I know you could throw it down. Listen, it don't take much for little mama spit flames quick about that name, little mama. I was raised with that. From the stage to the streets, look, I stays with that. That's like a pen without a pad. We engaged to that. I'm trying to see my face on billboards and my name on wax. F that, oops, I can't curse, my dad is listening. And my mom said the bill fixing to give me your whipping. That just sound like, wow. like that's how I used to that's how I used to smell back in the day. Like for real, I ain't gonna lie to y'all, like it's like I'm a, it's like I'm a poet. Not a poet, it's like I'm a prophet. A lot of things that I've ever wanted in my life, I spoke into existence. And that's one of the things that made me back up just now from finish going on and on with that rhyme. Nah, because not for real, like in, in my mind. It was like, wow, everything that I spoke about at that time has come to existence. I like to thank God. <laughs> I like to thank my daddy. Uh. <laughs> for real, like, that's serious. Thanks for coming.
holding it down. We got Lil Mama. What's up, Lil Mama? What up? Yeah, Mama. so you are dropping this new album, yes. Voice of the Young People. Yes, Voice of the Young People. Why do you feel like you are that voice for the young people? And why do you think that young people need a voice right now? I feel like I'm the voice of the young people because I keep it official. And a lot of music that I've been hearing. Hello. This is Lil Mama, a.k.a. the voice of the young people. Shout out to Real Talk NY. You're in tune to Real Talk NY.net, your one stop for everything hip hop. It's your girl Joy Daly. I'm holding I'm gonna my business. That's exactly what I mean. Young beasts from the east, so you know I pull today. I'm that ghetto gorgeous gangster girl. About to fly these slides international. By the way that I bounce on the track, you know. 